Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about lower cross syndrome, a really common postural distortion uh, that's characterized by an excessive curvature of the lower lumbar spine here, so um, a lordotic curve in the spine in the back, okay, and also tightness in the hip flexors here, so uh, all of this front area of the hips is tight, okay, so these two muscles are, are, are pretty tight. These two areas of the body are tight, which is why this is call, uh, called lower cross syndrome, because there's a cross here that takes place. These muscles, however, the abs, okay, abdominals are weak, and the glutes, so your butt is weak, okay? When you have this distortion, um, you might get symptoms like a, a, a really tough pain or really a tightness in the low back. Uh, it's hard to bend over. It might even be hard to stand up straight or to li lie flat on your back. Um, it also can start to cause some tightness in your hamstrings. In fact, recently I had a really tough case. I, I've been working with someone who has a really tough case of uh, lower cross syndrome that's carried her over, you know, over a couple of decades of having this uh, postural distortion to the point where now she's walking literally in an L shape because her hip flexors are so tight, um, her glutes are weak, her belly uh, or her abdominals are, are weak. And now she's feeling radiating pain down her hamstrings. So if this is something you're experiencing or you have a client that's experiencing something similar, um, as, we, as we normally tell clients here, the sooner that you get this handled and you start working through the tightness in the hip flexors and the tightness in the low back, the erector muscles here, uh, and then start working on correcting um, the weaknesses. So get yourself with a corrective trainer, get uh, some deep tissue sports massage, uh, come in and visit us if this is something you're, you're having trouble with. Um, and if you're a practitioner and you're just scratching your head like what could be possibly wrong, take a look at the posture. Always take a look at the posture because our pain really develops from poor posture. Uh, that's it for today's video. I'm going to continue on talking a little bit more about uh, lower cross syndrome in the next few videos to come. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or if you'd like to train with us, just visit the links below. And if you'd like to book an appointment with us, uh, there's also a link below the video that you can check out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.